Sonic 2 handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots. Be a pet. The pottery that grows. It's bon Faith is gonna drive you show Only on YouTube. Hey again, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks so much for checking out this new video on the Mark 7 GTI. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel as we work our way towards 6,000 subscribers. So let's hit that goal, hit that subscribe button. Today we are doing some more chassis bracing. The next, I, I think the video after this one is going to be chassis bracing again, um, but it's something that I'm working on. I ordered piece by piece as I do with most of my parts. I have a day job, I don't really make money off YouTube, so I gotta order parts at a time, paycheck to paycheck. I'm sure most of you guys are the same way. So today's video, we are doing a strut tower bar, just like we did in the Miata way back when. We are now going to do it to the GTI and I got it right here in front of me. So this right here is the Eurosport front strut tower bar. If it's underneath the wiper cowl, so it's kind of hidden away, but it is a really nice piece. It's, it's welded nicely. It's, it's like a powder coated anodized black. It looks good, so it should do the job for stiffening up the front suspension and front body, helping out with that body roll that we get on these bigger hatchbacks. With that being said, one thing I wanna to explain to you guys super quick is when I do these install videos, like I said, I have to buy all my own parts um, and I don't normally link to products in the description. I always be sure to say what it is, what the company is, like I said, Eurosport. If a company wants to send me something, I for sure put the link. And if I really, really like the product, I put the link in. But in these videos where I just install things, um, it's kind of up to you guys to find your solution to what you want for your car, do your research. Um, you don't have to do the same thing because I'm no expert. I just find things that I like and do my own research and install them on my car. So like I said, Eurosport front strut tower bar. I got mine from ECS. I get most of my stuff for the GTI from ECS tuning. So that's where I got mine. But Anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna get the hood open. I'm gonna put you guys down and uh, get started on this install. Should be pretty simple. I got the instructions, super detailed instructions right here. So it should be uh, easy to follow. Let's get started. So you can't see it, but we are done. Super easy install. All you had to do was just really lift up this top cowl and there it is, slid it right underneath. It's all bolted in right back there. So very easy to do. And with these strut bars, you know, it's probably not gonna make a huge, huge difference. But as I've said, with all of our bracing, it's going to add up. So the chassis is definitely going to be a little bit stiffer. And we should notice it driving a little bit harder. Um, the car should just perform a little bit better, should stay a little bit more flat, should stay a little bit more stiff, and just make everything a little bit more confidence inspiring. So you guys don't need to see it, but I am gonna go ahead and put the cowl back on. I do want to take a test drive with all of the bracing that we've done uh, soon, drive it a little hard. I know I haven't done like testing for every single one because there's not really a way I can show you besides just telling you, and I want to, try to make a little bit more dedicated video to the car itself as far as the drivability goes with all the bracing on it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this short one again. Be sure you stay tuned for next week for our next GTI video on Wednesday. Stay tuned for Saturday, which is our NC Miata day. And as I always say, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.